Interested to see what he's going to go for there. He's a singed, love me a bit of singed. There is the Varus pickup for Copenhagen Wolves. Two more picks that were in the exact last game that we saw. Virtual, oh, I was about to say, he's hovering on teleport there for a second. A little bit interesting. And Shleya, Oriana, that's what they played last time, except uh, they pick up a Lulu, so we might see an Ezreal as their AD carry. And Copenhagen Wolves, if they're going to stick to it, we're going to see a Syndra. And unfortunately, not a Thresh, but, well, obviously not a Volibear either, since we do have I. Yep, and actually just switching around here is Deficio. Zyra, a champion we know that he can perform with, but what? Elise is, there... is open. Yeah, Elise is open in this one. Not really uh, being touched upon at this stage. And I guess, well, obviously doesn't fit into that against authority lineup on the, unless they go for something really, really funky. <laughs> uh, they're missing right now an AD carry. But it looks like Copenhagen Wolves are going to be thinking about having this Zyra to go in there with the virus cut in the end of the day, also be in the middle for Bjergsen. Yeah, and the thing is with Bjergsen, he, to me, he is the rock of their team. I mean, you saw when, unfortunately, when he wasn't able to play anymore until so he was Malphite 17. Malphite pick then. <laughs> <laughs> I, was not, I was not going that, that route, but I mean, he's, he's the rock of their team and they haven't had a lot of practice together just yet. And it, it pretty much is like SK as a, oh wow. So he does go Syndra. So we have pretty much three, uh, three people on Copenhagen Wolves and four so far, or three so far as well against all three that we saw in the last game. Maybe we're gonna see that Ezreal um, yet again, but you know, we actually saw some amazing play out of Syndra out of Bjergsen. And the thing is yeah. they're on the blue team. We've seen it, um, it was CLG, yeah, it was, it was Link in the mid lane. He actually uh, put a ghost world, they put the support, put the ghost world over the blue buff and then pulled the blue out and took it away, which very well could happen right now. Well, that's one of string, uh, Stringers? Uh, Syndra's <laughs> strongest points yeah. uh, coming in. And we've seen it. We saw it in the last time uh, Bjergsen played Syndra. When that AP comes in, actually does oh, yeah. a hell of a lot of damage once the combos start landing. Uh, it looks like AD carry here, four against all authority, could very well be misfortune and will be locked in there. So we have the two lineups then. Singe top lane, Vi in the jungle, Syndra mid lane, and a duo lane of Varus. Zyra for Copenhagen Wolves on the other side. It's going to be Renekton in the top lane, Sinchao in the jungle, Oriana for the middle lane, and a bottom lane of misfortune and Lulu. And Joe, both these teams are running amazing compositions right now because you have Vi for Copenhagen Wolves. She's one of those champions who wants to go into the back line and you need a buddy to go in there. You have to have like a buddy system where you're holding hands and you have a singed i mean that's what he does if you're not doing it if you're not doing that you're not playing him correctly so he's gonna be in the back line as well you have the cc out of uh, syndrome bjergsen you have the cc out of Varus, not to mention zara right behind that they have an amazing composition but then again against authority have the same thing you have renekton you have zin to get in there and, and get the ball delivery service and then right after that you have the lulu to knock him up and you have the bullet time happening at the same time so this is just going to be a really explosive, and I feel bad because you're going to run out of breath probably in these team fights because there's so much action happening. Well, Jason, I can only hope that I'll run out <laughs> of breath in this one. The last two games, of course, being full of action, and well, hopefully this one won't be, uh, you know, the, the uh, hopefully will be the icing on the cake for uh, tonight here, the first day of the Super Weekend here in the European LCS. We can see that Copenhagen Wolves looking very, very concentrated at this point. Zero for nine, we can say over and over again, but I'm sure they're tired they of hearing are, it too. They, well, I'm sure they are, but they've got to fix it themselves yep. if they don't want to hear it anymore. Uh, from against all authorities' side, you know, it sounds harsh to, to Copenhagen Wolves, but it is the case that no one wants to be that team, that <laughs> team that first loses to Copenhagen Wolves, especially when they've already beat them once in the past, Joe. I mean, yes. the, the game was actually really close. Our Wolves were doing pretty well, but because of Schley is natively playing that, or sorry, it wasn't Schley, it was uh, sorry, Oriana's play. Um, the ball delivery service was perfect because Wolves would always burst down Nono on his Ezreal with Syndra, but they couldn't do anything about Oriana because he was just so fed. So level one here, Jason. Can we expect anything? Um, yes, because I see Ping showing it. <laughs> As you see right there. I'm, uh, I'm assuming that Copenhagen Wolves might want to go for a level one towards that Wraith camp, which we you know, we saw EG do last game. 4G didn't work out just uh, that well for them. But in terms of uh, who's stronger, having that fling on Singe is just so devastating. Um, you have uh, some damage out of Syndra as well. Uh, uh, Zyra with the Grasping Root can really lock you down and pick up an easy kill. But then, you know, over for against Authority, you have that stun out of Renekton. You have the slow or the knockup out of Zin. You have the weekend. And up until now, I tell you what, it's not just been super in terms of the amount of games. The action has been brilliant. Yeah, it really has indeed. And one of the interesting uh, uh, things we've noticed so far is that Schley actually picked up a ward. Uh, was that a ghost ward? No, that was actually a real ward. So he, uh, he's going heavy utility tree. It looks, or not heavy, sorry, not heavy utility tree, but he's going for that start where he's going to go for a tier. Um, and you want to get that ward coverage, just prevent any sort of invade um, going into that Wraith camp. And I like the ward on that tribush because, actually, uh, and the one by the tribush is that, you know, Krepo mentioned when he was on the show, 
how vulnerable that spot is and how many teams don't take advantage of that. So uh, it looks like they're listening and are going to try to prevent any sort of invade. And there's a ward in the south of the river. And, well, in terms of coverage, against all authority have locked off all four entrances into their side of the jungle. So they're going to know everything early on. What team was that earlier that was playing? Uh, well, you, you and Quickshot were casting. We saw four wards go down as well. Uh, that was two games ago. That was... Uh, oh God, Jason! Yeah, I mean, we, we've had so many my, games. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I my, just my brain. We have seen that before today. My brain is very short term. Let's call it that. A <laughs> uh, bit of a goldfish brain, actually. Uh, but we are seeing here against all authority kicking things off here on the rate. And now they move it back. It was Dragonborns versus Fnatic. Now it's come there back to me. See, it takes a while to uh, dig into the archives uh, of history, <laughs> even though it was only a couple of hours ago. Uh, Copenhagen Wolves starting here with uh, Svenskeren on that blue buff and actually will take it with the smite. And we have Freddy and Virtual, or even and Nono, both starting with crazy amount of armor pen. We have 17 each on uh, Zin and Renekton, and we have 14 over on Misfortune. Uh, I've been talking about this before because it's really, oh wow, Deficio getting very low just on level one action. That's not good for him. Only running that uh, well, two health pots, it looks like there, and that biscuit. And you can't afford to do that right now because any level one damage you get on when you don't have a sustain lane, which currently neither of them have, is going to pretty much put you in a, in a really bad place when you hit level two. Like, no, no, now level two, they could put on a lot of pressure since the test hasn't hit two yet, and they're, it's like they're going for that in fact, and just trying to pressure Defusio out because Zyra is very squishy. Yeah, but there we see the Grasping Root coming down. No, no, trying to bully the Tess away. And when he's level two as well, you know, with that Blighted Quiver in there, it, it can put down a lot of damage very, very quickly. And, you know, uh, probably an amount that you're not going to be expecting. And it's hard to calculate exactly from Varus what he's going to be able to hit you with uh, over and over. As the pink wall goes down in that bottom side, Deficio says, well, you're not going to be able to annoy me that much anymore, <laughs> Lulu, because your poke is ridiculous. Uh, top lane, let's have a look at that. Singe versus Renekton. They are both level on the CS at this point. We see the uh, Red Elixir being picked up by Freddy. Pretty standard start there is the fling. Will knock Freddy up into the turret. Actually got the stun wow. down, and that is a big amount of damage. Obviously, turrets, they hurt at this level. Yeah, and Freddy got lucky that uh, Godbar wasn't running that igniter. That would have been that first blood right there. And uh, Joe, we actually do have Zin coming down towards his bottom lane. Virtual trying to go in for a gank here. Won't be spotted by a ward, but you know, it's Zyra. You have those plants. As long as you use it so you can spot that 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 entire bush, it's going to prevent any ganks from coming in. We do have a pink ward as well on the or on uh, Copenhagen Wolf's side of that bush. And that was making me think that uh, Sven Skarin might come in for a gank, but in fact he didn't. Oh, Corrales getting rooted up there, but... Wow, no those plants. Wolves. Yeah, the plants really, really hurt. This stage, we are going to see Sven Skarin get in there. Didn't quite manage to land the distance with that Vault Breaker. And we remain first bloodless <laughs> after four minutes and 10 seconds. Early CS, pretty much bang even across the board. Singe starting to get a bit of a lead in the top. Yep, but we do have uh, something key. Virtual did pick up that Razor, that Madrid's Razor, which really gives him that quick clear in the jungle. So he'll be around the map ganking a lot more. We saw uh, Diamond Prox on him last game just pull off an amazing Zin Zhao. And I believe Virtual can give us that kind of show. Only problem is... Renekton's already shown, Freddy's already shown that he kind of can't really beat Godbro at this point. I mean, he, he dove in a little bit too far, took too many hits from the turret, and Singe, once he gets uh, gets going, he's really hard to stop. Oh, Corrales there again, taking a good amount of damage from Deficio. And you know, both of these, uh, these support players can put good damage down uh, when they get their uh, abilities in that right place. So, a bit of a volatile bottom laning that we'll certainly have to keep an eye on. Singe now actually headed in towards the top lane right now. And as I say that, he decides to turn away and head back in towards his own side of the jungle. Yeah, he kind of well, he kind of thought he was spotted by a ward, but in fact he wasn't. Godbro was just running away to be a singe. Just put the cast down as the minions run into it. So he's going to go back to his double golems and eventually come around in for a gank. Both junglers have been a little bit passive, but Sven Skarin has been the more aggressive one. Coming back into this mid lane, it's like he's trying to create an opportunity here, trying to get an early kill on Shleia because he was so deadly last time on Orianna. Well, can they lock him down? There comes the study. Can they finish this one off? They needed that igniting position, and now Virtual coming around the side. He's going to knock Svenskorn up there, but knows that he doesn't have the damage to finish off the actual kill. And while it remains 10, still no kills, but Svenskorn looks like he's not done just yet, heading up through that jungle. Oh, it looks like he actually might heading towards his top one since uh, we do have Freddy kind of overextended, but that was the, that's the power of Vi, just how oh. much damage you do as he is actually going around the backside. He's just being a little sneaky here, trying to go into this bot lane. Yeah, headed around completely there, up towards the Wolf Sinch out. He's going to just put a ward down there on that side as Freddy 
Oh, almost getting ganked out there by Bjergsen. Godbro did take turret hits there, which uh, actually forced him away. And again, frantic pings on the bottom side of the jungle. We're going to see Vi here being hit in the face pretty much. This is going to be a full-on face check from Virtual into the bush. There is Deficio in the test coming around. Virtual has made an absolute hash of it, oh! but they get first blood. Nicely done. Can they get any more? No, no, in the test go head to head. No, no, going to flash away. Where's the test's flash? He doesn't go over there. And that will be one kill apiece. And the kill's coming down for Zyra and for Xin Zhao. I'm just astonished at that play. That was, I, I was expecting uh, Virtual just to die with nothing yeah. else happening, but he came in with the audacious charge on a Deficio, picked him up, and that is why Zyra is so squishy. And Joe, looking about what happened in the mid lane with Bjergsen heading towards the top, I'm a little bit surprised actually that he went for that, trying to go for that kill onto Freddy, onto Renekton, when, you know, God was not having a tough time at all in that lane. He could have been in lane, gotten level six before Schleia, and then just punished him really, really bad, um, but we do see the Chalice picked up on Shleia, so he's just trying to sustain that harass a little bit, and, and not to mention keep that mana up so he can harass uh, Bjergsen back. Want to receive here from the AD carries again. We're going to see that Avarice Blade coming out, something that's developed seemingly overnight for us here, <laughs> to be honest. With that double Doran's Blade in, BF Sword and single Doran's Blade over for Varus, who has a 13 CS lead. In the middle, Oriana got a slight lead. Top lane, pretty much bang even as we are going to see blue buff gifted over here onto Schleyer's Oriana. I'm trying to think if it was Genja or Wei, Wei Zhao that was the first ones to run ninja tabbies on their boots, and then a couple of people started following suit. Genja. Uh, it was Genja, okay, and then he's probably one of the first ones to run that Avarice Blade and coming back with it yet again. Or people, other people starting to copy it because, you know, they realize it's a really smart play. Bjergsen taking there's no what? damage in that mid lane right there. That was uh, an interesting uh, matchup there. The Shockwave, I guess, just trying to force him out of lane more than anything else. This blue buff here is going to be giving over to Bjergsen, but you saw how much damage he took. It was uh, almost exactly none. <laughs> almost exactly zero, yeah. And uh, I'm, I, I'm just as surprised as you are because it really seemed out of place, but maybe you wanted to force him out of lane just so they can deny the blue buff away from him, which he ended up picking up anyways. On um, the bot lane, though, we do have Deficio and the test both, or sorry, Deficio isn't level six just yet, but is almost. And that is a really like scary lane to go up against. Yeah, you have the Lulu knockup, but you have a double, we have a lockdown with the uh, with the virus ultimate and then the Zyra knockup right after that with the grasping roots. You can really lock someone down, especially when they don't have flash or an escape like Nono. Yeah, and there's no ignite whatsoever in this bottom lane in this matchup. We should uh, probably note, uh, note that one. So no real uh, finisher of a move there. Svenskrun is going to come in. There's the ultimate. Lands on to no, no. Vault Breaker comes in. He's rooted as well. The combo from Copenhagen Wolves will give them a 2-1 lead. Godbro in the top lane actually took a lot of damage as well while that was going on. And it looks like Copenhagen Wolves, they're going to turn around and go towards Dragon. And Svenskrun making a really big impact on this game. Been, made his presence known in the mid lane. Been towards the bottom now twice. And with this dragon, it's giving a nice, uh, nice little bit of a lead, but they are in danger of losing that top turret. We need to see Godbro head up there as quick as possible because if they lose that turret for the dragon, I don't think it's going to benefit the wolves in the end because they've been having a hard time converting an early advantage into a win. And if they lose that turret, it's going to force them into an uncomfortable position. Yeah, certainly will do as we see Singe there picking up the catalyst, heading up towards that rod of ages. Yeah, we've actually seen some, uh, in North America, Singe is more of, more primarily played. I mean, actually, well, after the, the week we saw him, I think it was week two, uh, we saw in week three a lot of people playing him. But we've seen actually a lot of different builds on him where we've seen a tier as a first item um, because you can stack with your poison very easy to stack that, not to mention the Archangel Staff and then the Zer uh, Z Wow, I forgot the name. Zerus Embrace. Thank you, Joe. Zerus Embrace. Um, they give him that nice bit of shield when he's trying to run around and not to mention the damage on top of that. So in that bottom lane, we just did uh, saw another bit of damage being exchange actually the bottom lane of the test and officio did go back vamp scepter picked up there by the test and we are seeing the philo stone doran shield start coming out from officio which is uh, you know what crepo talked to us about last week brilliant uh, set of items here and look at god bro he's up there on that top side and he's gonna be a singe <laughs> yeah and that's that's the most annoying part about him is that he draws so much attention away into that lane for the enemy team that you have to kind of deal with him because if you don't keep him in check he's gonna get so strong um, and that really forces Virtual to kind of to, to visit that lane, which then gives the bot lane in the mid lane that free uh, time to harass. They know the jungler's not going to be around that lane much, and if he is, their top lane's going to get super fed. So overall, I mean, just looking at, you know, the CS, look at the kills right now, Copenhagen Wolves looking very strong at this point. Oh, no, no. 
Just dodge. Actually, we do have a gank in the mid lane. Yeah, Bjergsen might be in trouble for this one. Let's see if they can get in there. Oh, Shot wave will land right on top of Virtual's head. Really nicely done there. That's a kill back here for against all authority. Can they get any more here down in the bottom? We see a very low the test running back. They can't quite get in on top of him. But still, as I said, this bottom lane definitely volatile. That ball delivery system, Joe, is just insane because you give Zen that little speed up. You have oh, actually, you might see Divisio go down there as a little bit aggressive. But the the speed up for for Zen, then the audacious audacious. I can't even I can't even speak audacious out. Audacious charge. Nice, thank you, Joe. Uh, on top of that, not to mention the knock up plus the pull in, it's just so hard to escape that as uh, as anyone in a one v two situation. And, and later, as the game progresses, it's going to be that much more deadly as Schley has already proven himself to be an amazing Orianna. It looks like he's going for a Rod of Ages as well, just to kind of be a little bit tanky that his team's going to need since you have Singed, you have Vi to dive in towards the back. I mean, half of the problem is getting the ball in the right place and, you know, activating it when right, it needs yeah. to be activated. Uh, but either way, we are seeing the test and Officio now starting to put some damage down onto this turret. And by some, I mean... Not very much. And they uh, <laughs> didn't have many minions there with them. Uh, but you can see the pressure onto the two champions in that bottom lane is high and is still maintaining that 10 or so CS lead here this year, uh, the test. And uh, I think it's really has a kill and assist over him, which, you know, he's at 4,200 gold total to the 3,400 on no no. So that is a big. Big gold difference uh, discrepancy at this point in the game. We do have the Abra's Blade, though, um, for Nona to kind of catch up. He already has, I believe it's 200 gold stacked up from it, which, you know, he hasn't had that long. I think it's only been a couple of minutes, and that's a lot of gold to kind of build up to. Oh, oh, we, oh this is going to be deadly. But this, we have Zin coming in for a counter gank, though. This could be an interesting play coming out. Bjergsen actually going to get hit there with the ball. Here comes Zin Chow. The Vault Breaker comes around. Svenskron going to nail Virtual down. But, well, Svenskron's going to have to back away or at least try to back away from this one. Good damage from Oriana. But can they finish it off? Command Protect is down. They're going to go for it. Svenskron has to flash away. Virtual flashes in there and picks up the kill. And actually, we see Bjergsen around the side. Good damage back. But Schleyer may pick this one up as we see Godbro coming down. The poison's on. The flip comes in. You can't get away from a Singe. This is a dead Slayer as he gets the command protect in. Flash over oh. the top and there was Syndra over the top of the wall as well. Great play out of the Wolves. And that is the old school flippity floppy that we all enjoy of Singe just running around getting those kills and that is that is huge because it's going to help him get that Rod of Ages a lot sooner. He's sitting on 2,000 gold so he can buy it when he goes back and Bjergsen I mean, he escaped by the skin of his teeth right there. And unfortunately for uh, Sven Skarin, he realized how strong Virtual is right now because he's two, well, he was 2-1 uh, at that point. Now he's 3-2. He's just so tanky with not many items on uh, not many items to back it up. Um, the Madrid's Razor and then the Lock of the Iron Solari is just really allowing uh, Virtual to be kind of pseudo-tanky with that shield. Yeah, we've seen Lockheed coming out of Diamond. I mean, Intel Extreme Masters Katowice is where we uh, primarily saw him going going for that pretty much exclusively mm -hmm. uh, in the early stages. We see Godbro in that top lane getting the uh, flip onto Freddy once again. And he's just running circles here. He's just being a typical <laughs> annoying singe. And Freddy probably doing the best thing here, which is you just got to try and ignore him. And try to, yeah, push his lane into him to kind of make him miss CS. And, and Joe, look how this game progresses on. Varus, I understand why he's such a strong pick nowadays, because you're going against teams that have a top laner who builds a War Mogs, builds a Sunfire Cape, and most ADs carries can't respond to that until they get that last Whisper. But with Varus, it kind of lets you bypass that somewhat because you do that percent health damage with your Blight Stacks. So it's a very strong pick, and if Freddy tries to go into the back line against him, the test should be able to take him on a lot, a lot earlier than most AD carries could. If we look down, one thing that I, uh, we didn't touch on, but I did just know is the kill distribution right now for Perfect. Copenhagen Wolves across the board. Vi, the only one with no kill, but got the two assists in there. On the other side, the three kills for against all authority, all with that Sin Chow, which has allowed him to get in there and pick up that uh, locket early on. Got a uh, 700 gold lead right now as well. You know, I love how you bring that up because I didn't even notice it until you mentioned it, but that is a really bad stacking of kills for against all authority because, yeah, they have someone who could be tanky, but they need the damage. I mean, th their whole comp is based around uh, CCM long enough that you can kill them with the bullet time, with the damage from Oriana's ultimate. But with Copenhagen Wolves spraying those kills out nicely, we have Singe picks up his Rod 8. Oh, we do see Bjergsen getting ganked in the mid lane yet again. in a lot of trouble here. The root will come down, but it's not going to be enough to save him. Bjergsen will die from that one. There is the uh, kill starting to move around. And that's one thing that even uh, talking about his kill distribution, that with Virtual getting stronger early on, is going to help 
distribute those kills in, you know, the later the game goes on as well as Dragon is going to get pulled out. The Tess will throw the Q straight through against all authority. Freddy got the ball on his head, ready to dive in the middle of him. But that Shockwave, of course, isn't up right now. He was using that last encounter, but it's five versus four here. Nonetheless, as the Dragon is down to less than half HP, can they take it down against all authority? You're going to engage. Zyra knockup going to get three of them in there. Varus ulti is down as well. There's the Lulu ulti. Svenskun's going to die. Godbro goes very low, but oh, Freddy is a dead man here. Double kill for Varus. Bjergsen pushing down. Can he get a double of his own? There's the one. The root will miss. Triple kill for Varus. And there is the finisher for Syndra. Ace for Copenhagen Wolves. So well played by Wolves right there. I was about to say this could be either a huge mistake or a huge success for them. They were about to engage, and it looked like Dragon was going to go down. And it's at that point where if you're not going to stop them from getting Dragon, what's the point in engaging? But they stop that. They're going to pick up a turret. They picked up an ace. Wolves looking so strong. And look at the kills, how it was distributed yet again. Singe picked up a four assist right there. We have four kills now on the test, who was already strong before. And now you have three kills on Bjergsen with that beautiful teleport to get back into that fight. That was nice as well. Deficio just putting the plant down to tank up that few seconds before the minions actually got into there as well. And that will be two turrets off the back of that. And the thing is, the dragon is still there for the taking as well. I don't think they've noticed. Actually, no, they do notice it at the last second. Looks like as the test is heading down towards that way, he has a Bloodthirster. And look how much gold he's sitting on at this point. We're 17 minutes in, and he has 2,400 gold to spend when he goes back. So we yeah. could see, well, pretty much any item. We could see that static shift coming up fairly shortly. But against Authority, I mean, they're taking advantage of so this. They did have a ward down, and they saw that Copenhagen Wolves was going to back away. And this is... This is a fight that they can't afford to go for. Wolves have to have to concede this dragon and just take that ace and go with it. Yeah, I mean, they've got a 5k gold lead as we see Svenskren scared to me there. charge up there and actually <laughs> went back in the other direction into the safety of his own jungle. But that leaves us with a pretty much bang on, in fact, it is bang on, 4,000 gold dif uh, difference. And 9 to 5 in kills, 3 0 in turrets as well for the Wolves. And the thing was, is that they got an ace, they got two turrets off of that, so they just got so much gold into their pockets to spend. Next time they come back for a fight, they're going to be that much stronger and that much more deadly. It's just Singe being, being a Singe. I had another word in mind, but I, I decided to not use it. Annoying. To that, say is, the, that is a more to, of a safe word to say yes. To say the least, as we see once again, and now Deficio coming up. Actually, the uh, roots will miss. Freddy gets back to the safety of his turret there, but you just see the pressure. I mean, 141 to 143 CS. Yes, it's very, very even. Freddy done a good job of ignoring Godbro as much as he can, but that Singe is always going to get farmed. It's very hard to just yeah. stop it, uh, you know, to, to out-farm the Singe because he will just run rings around you all day and just keep going and going. And Lulz with a beautiful transistor right now, putting pressure onto this top lane. We have Varus and Singe heading towards the middle, so either they can push down towards that inhibitor turret and pretty much make it so they can get the top and it make against authority respond to it or they're gonna get a free inhibitor turret off of it they have a lot of damage in those two champions that they could take on anyone that comes at them that currently isn't in the top side of the map so it's a beautiful played and this is what the wolves kind of need needed to work on and they're showing that they kind of have and you know hopefully they'll prove it with uh, their first win right here well don't jinx them yeah, just yet, Jason. I, I just i was like crap <laughs> i should have said that but in the bottom we do have bjergsen chasing down no no well, we see the engagement coming in here on the top as well. GoPro going to take damage, but here comes the test from the side. The knockup gets two. Svenska and takes down Karalias. Virtual's down to less than half, and there are four men going to be hammering away on him. He's not going to escape. This is the test who picks it up. He's unstoppable at 504. He was tanking the turret as Schleyer and Bjergsen going to go head to head. He misses the shockwave, and Bjergsen smells an opportunity as he chases in there. Schleyer gets that speed boost out, but the stun lands from Bjergsen. Can he keep going? Command Protect down. Can Schleyer get away from this one? Bjergsen going in there again. Can he land it, though? That's the question. One more hit, and he decides, I just can't quite finish it off. I don't have the mana, as he's going to flush oh. in there anyway. And well, oh. nicely done. What can we say? Bjergsen. He, he just 1v2 again. right there. He pretty much just 1v2. He 1v1 no-no, -no, and then Schleyer came in. And even if he didn't get that kill, he was stalling Schleyer long enough for the rest of his team to get two turrets in the top end right now, Joe. This goal lead is... 7,000 at this point, and they have the Tess, who, you know, over these past few weeks, we've talked about how he just hasn't been the, the Tess that we know. He hasn't been that impressive, but right now he's showing that on this Varus, he really is a force to reckon with. Yeah, he is looking so good right now, and see that Singe Giant's Belt blasting one. <laughs> He is going for that Crystal Scepter. Good old Troll Singe build. Love a bit of that. Um, and, you know, they're just looking really good at this point. 33.5 to 26.8 thousand gold. 13.5 up in kills. 5-0 in turrets, which is also a big thing to look at. Um, but 
Uh, I don't want to kind of poop on the party right now, but <laughs> we've seen Wolves had leaves, have yes, leads yes. before, which they've not been able to convert. Have we seen them have one this big? Pretty much we have, <laughs> and they messed it up there as well. Yeah, I want to be careful on the words I use here not to jinx it, but they have the potential to burst down anyone on the team at, at this point. We, if, if Bjergsen unloads his full combo on a Schleyer or No-No, or Corralis, they will die. Uh, that's just that's just it. That's just the fact. The test as well, who's five zero and four at this point. If he adds in any sort of damage, any sort of crowd control, th there's just no way you're gonna escape from that. Then you have you know obviously Singe and Vi running around, and then you have Deficio on Zyra, who has an amazing ultimate so far, amazing roots that's just been locking you down. So against Authority, they have to kind of build a little bit tanky, but they have to be very careful in the position of all of these fights. Yeah, well, a few moments ago, we were looking at the outer turret and how they were managing to take it down. Now the inner turret's gone in this uh, in this top lane as well. And Godbroke continues to push. Now that Nono is coming across, though, they may be able to do something about it. But best advice ever. I don't, don't think they can don't stop him. Chase the singed. Like even these two, I'm pretty sure Godbroke well, can just take them. Goes flash singed. Like and he's dead. Don't catch him ever. <laughs> Especially, Especially when he gets his scepter, yeah. yeah. There's just, and he's just being a terror. He's just pushing that top lane while the rest of his team... Well, I was about to say, the rest of the team pushes down the middle, but we saw Bjergsen split pushing, and this might come back to bite him in the butt, but he does have teleport, so if they do want to go for the engage, he will come in like at that dragon fight and just dominate. Well, Virtual is headed down there now. Svenskren is already in position. Actually, he's going to Vault Breaker his way in there on towards Virtual. Here comes Deficio and the Tess around the side. They managed to land the route onto Schleyer. Here comes the ultimate out of Zyra. He gets destroyed. The Tess is dominating, and it's not over yet. Virtual's been hammered away at. Bjergsen will become unstoppable as well. That's 6-2-2. This is another inner turret for Copenhagen Wolves. And they're just picking them off one by one. Against Authority seems to be making all the wrong moves at the wrong points. Schleyer getting caught. I mean, they had a ward there. They had Copenhagen Wolves coming in from the side. They knew they were going to see that. And now they're going for this inhibitor turret. And with three members against Authority to defend it, I'm pretty sure they can take it. Slice and dice away there by Renekton from that route. That could have spelled disaster for him. But either way, Copenhagen Wolves are hammering onto that inhibitor turret. Can they finish it off? They will finish it off as Bjergsen keeps going here on towards Nono. And he got broke coming around the side. Flashes in. Gets the flip. Nono's going to die from this one. Now they've locked Freddy down as well. Can he get away? Ultimate comes out of Virtual. There's the shockwave to pick up a kill in the end. But to be honest, I'm got not flashed. sure it's going to be enough for you. God Pro is still in there, still poisoning them up. Schleier goes down to the test, and they're still going. Virtual, the new target from this one. In the meantime, the inhibitor itself is being attacked by Copenhagen Wolves. They lost two for one in that one. And I said that Schleier got a kill. I don't think he actually did. Someone else finished off Bjergsen in the end. But what a push, what a set of pushes there coming out of the Wolves. And with how hungry the Wolves are at this point, they can smell the blood. They want to get that first one. They have almost a 10,000 goal lead at this point. And you just saw, Godbro couldn't be touched. We had uh, Miss No-No on the backside. They just flash on top of him, pop the ghost, throw him into the his team. We had Bjergsen doing an amazing job with zoning. He was killed and unfortunately did give away a killing spree. But you know, honestly, at this point, you just got your team an inhibitor off of it. So you gave him 500 gold, but you got an inhibitor. You have that pressure of the bot lane. And now Baron is open for you to take if you want to. And it's always that, that, that decision. It's always like 50-50. You know, do you want to go for it and kind of secure an easy push? Or do we want to potentially give against authority and then get them back in the game? Well, we just saw Varus go back with 3,000 gold. Uh, BF Sword picked up. He's obviously oh, got gosh. the uh, Static Shiv in there, Bloodthirster in there. Oh, that pickaxe picked up in it as well. We've got Singe now with the Crystal Scepter. Just picked up a Warden's and a, Mail yes, as well. a Warden's Mail. So if you hit him, you're not only slowed from his poison, but you're also going to be slowed from the the, uh, the the item. True troll Singe, Bill. <laughs> I know Joe's sitting there smiling from cheek to cheek. Just so yeah. happy to see that. That's it. Loves it. I mean, if you're going in there with Ghost and Flash with Singe, do you... <laughs> You already know what you're going to do in that exactly. game anyway. Uh, but up until now, can't take it away from Wolves. They've got a 10k gold lead. They're winning 7-0 on turrets against all authority. Not had a single turret kill up until now. That may change as Freddy. Well, he's um, in no man's land, I think we can call it here. As Godbro going to fling him back over. There goes the shockwave. Bullet time coming in. Freddy is actually still alive, but surely for not long.
long as Varus comes in around the side. The test going to be hammered on by Virtual here as they focus around onto No No. Svenska in trouble. He's going to flash away but will die in the end. It's a two for two with Virtual very, very low. He's going to flash away. Slayer flashes away. Godbro comes around the side. How do you want to escape that? Flips him into the rest of the team. The test is legendary and Singe is not done just yet. He's going to chase down Slayer here. Doesn't have Ghost. Doesn't have his ultimate up. He's got his slow though and he's going to keep going. There's the fling back in and he's going to auto attack. Keep that poison running. Is he going to have enough damage? Oh. No, he's not. <laughs> I was actually thinking Slayer was going to die there but it seemed like he was wasting his time but it yeah, doesn't but matter. That's, the, that's yeah. what Singe does brilliantly as well. Just time wasting. And, and at this point, I mean, by keeping Slayer there, he couldn't back, he couldn't heal up. He doesn't have home guard boots so he obviously wouldn't heal up quickly and get back in there but he gave him a free inhibitor and the company rules they're very close to losing that but they're so lucky that the test is so fed and Deficio had that oracle to clear out that vision and give him that that positional advantage in that fight well we got bro down here copenhagen wolves not gonna do anything risky they're backing away there is actually a blue buff for the taking here and bjergsen is gonna be the one to take it the test is currently 9-0-5 what a game after we said last week in the qualifiers, he was amazing. He'd not really shown it up until now, but my gosh, has he turned it on here today. <laughs> yeah. He is looking so, so good. And Wolves, they look like a completely different team at this point. You can expect that they're going to be cautious about finishing this game out. They don't yeah. want to throw it at this point. That would be like the most heartbreaking thing, I think, um, at this stage of the tournament. Obviously, zero for nine. I don't want to hit that zero for 10 mark. However, you know, two inhibitors down. They're up to the inhibitor turret in the top lane. This is really their game to lose. It really is indeed. I mean, everyone on their team is playing so well. And whether we're going to attribute that to having time to finally sit down and train together and practice and prepare for this, or just that they're finally realizing, you know, we're, we're tired of losing. We're, we want to win one. And they're just coming out just marvelously in this game. And it's even bigger troll singe when his ultimate sound is on the entire time <laughs> just to throw you off even more. As we see against Authority actually coming in. Good route. Here comes Godbro. Thought about getting in there for the fling. It looks like Copenhagen Wolves might be interested in having a go with this one. Is he going to get the fling? It's virtually throws to the side. Freddy gets a Lulu ultimate down on him as the Zyra ulti knocks them all in the air. Slayer being absolutely destroyed as Fence Current comes in as well. There was the Lulu ultimate. It wasn't used earlier on. Bjergsen is going to kill Virtual though. Freddy going low. Nigod Pro going low. No, no, he's finished off. Karalias and Freddy are the only two men left alive here. God Bro is still somehow alive in this one as he flings Freddy away again. Can we see Quad a penta? kill. Can he get the penta kill here? Bjergsen chasing down. Oh, he's missing just about but there's Give it to penta. penta kill coming in for Bjergsen and Copenhagen Wolves are going to push through here and pick up their first victory in the LCS Europe after starting Nine for zero or zero for nine, they now pick up their first win. Much deserved victory here. They have played absolutely brilliantly. And if there's a look of relief that I've ever seen, that is it right there. They are so relieved after that one. But their season really starts now. That was one win that they've got out of 10 games. It's not a done deal by any point. They, they've got one win. They've still got a long road ahead of them. But that's how you start it off. Yeah, with the way they played, they completely deserve that. And also, I think it was our first pentakill in Europe. And I, I, don't, I don't want to know about North America, but overall, that was just so amazing, well played. I mean, we saw the test go down very early on. But still, just their, their teamwork, it really shined through right there, and they got their first win of the entire season. Well, if I'd have said six months ago to you, we're going to see a Syndra Pentakill <laughs> in, uh, in Season 3, you'd probably be like, you are mad, bro. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, that's exactly how it went down in the end. The test finishing 9-1-5 as well. At the end of it, there's Bjergsen who's like, yeah, no problem, guys. I got this one sorted. <laughs> no worries. Uh, so, that's it off for us here at the commentary desk. We're going to